Let's take a quick look at how we need to structure our files in the React Native application if we want to build a tab bar using the new Expo router. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Galaxies.dev back with a quick tutorial on the new Expo router. So we're going to use file-based routing in this tutorial and I've already started a new application. So I used npx create expo app latest, I call this tabs app and I made this with router. So you can also manually integrate this, but it's actually faster if we do it like this. I also touched the TS config and ran npx expo to start the live reload for my device and also in the browser. And now we're gonna do something cool because we're gonna build a tab bar and I'm gonna show you how you need to structure the files correctly if you wanna have both the tab bar navigation inside the tab bar and also navigation outside of the tab bar because that was a question I got last time we did a video about this. So let's create a new folder uh, calling this app. And within app, you usually create an index.tsx which represents the first element you're going to see on the screen. So here we go. Here is my first element. Now, the important part comes and starts right here because we're going to create a root layout. So underscore layout .tsx. And what we're going to do is we will not have our tab bar here at the root level, but instead we're going to create a stack navigation because then the tab bar will basically just be one screen in that stack. And we can have different screens which are pushed above the tab bar. So it is a bit different to think about it. Even from the expo team helped me to understand this better. So thanks again for the clarification. So let's do this. We're going to create a stack layout in here. Um, so there we go. And then we will simply return um, a stack. There we go from expo router. And then I'm going to define my first screen. It's not going to be the home screen, but instead I want to make the first screen our tab bar. And we could make a new folder, tabs, and then have like the home page inside. The problem is if we do that, uh, this would result in our tab bar showing as slash tabs slash home. And maybe you don't want to have the tabs in there. So if you don't want something to appear in the URL, you can simply put the rounded brackets around this. And then we this folder won't show up. And now I can create whatever kind of file in here. So I'm going to start with the layout.tsx in this folder again. And additionally, we might have something like a list in here. So list.tsx and reg native functional export. And then also let's add a home.tsx reg native functional export. Okay, cool. So we got those files. Let's create our tab bar. The tab bar is done quite easily in here. Um, we can do an export default. So I'm trying to use different ways to create this to show you. It doesn't matter how you do it actually. Uh, so return tabs from Expo router. And within the tabs, I need to define my tab screen. So I got the home screen. Uh, we actually don't need to add a component. So Copilot is wrong on this one. Uh, we just need home and we just need list because they are available um, as the path. So that's the beauty of the file based routing. But we haven't finished our setup here in our stack layout at the root level. So when we defined our first stack screen, this is now not home, but instead this is simply tabs. Uh, we don't need to assign any component. It should be fine. So let's see if we go back to the empty route, we still see our index. Because inside the index, we have this default setup. And the problem is, if we have this index file, or we need that index file at the root level. This is simply how the React Native uh, file-based routing with Expo currently works. So if you want to show your tabs immediately, we can simply place a redirect in here. So let's replace everything that we have in the index with a simple redirect to slash home. And now things look completely different. If we go to the blank path, we're immediately redirected to slash home. And if we check out our routing, we know that layout home, okay, this is part of tabs. So at the bottom, we're going to see our tab bar. And the same is true now for our application. I got list and I got home. This is pretty nice. Now, if I want to have a page outside of this, let's see how we can accomplish this. For this, we're going to go to our list page. I'm going to replace the list page 
with something that has a few links. So if I go here, we got news one, two, three. Now, right now, the links, of course, do not exist. Um, and if you want to debug your links, I highly recommend you open underscore sitemap. So then you're going to always see how the structure of your application looks like. So let's say we want to have these detailed pages of the links of the list, but those should not open within the actual tab bar. They should open outside. So to accomplish this, we need to go back and we need to create a folder up here. And I'm going to call this list and I can place something in here. I will actually make this a dynamic route so we can use those brackets. Uh, I think they're called square brackets, right? Uh, and then we will be able to catch on this page the ID uh, using the search params. That's actually quite easy. But it's more interesting what happens now because now we go to news one and we can't go there yet. <laughs> oh, that is good. Uh, I probably need to reload my application once. And there we go. We are on the detailed screen for one. Actually, why is this looking so horrible? Um, I probably need, oh, I don't even have the default export here. Uh, export default stack layout. Ah, that completely changed the trajectory of our application. So if I go to list, we're gonna talk about that in a second. I open this and voila, I'm here. And I can go back to tabs. Actually, that's not too cool. I could probably, Mm, I could probably change the name of the button. Yeah, but we don't need to, but you can definitely do this as well. However, what you're gonna notice now is that we have this ugly thing going on where we have tabs up there. So we definitely wanna make sure that we don't see this. So let's go back to our layout here. And for tabs, we will simply say options, um, header shown, Oh, nope, header shown false. And there we go. That removes the stack header for that page. It should still show in this page. Exactly. That works just fine. And again, I can go to news two and news three, and that just works perfectly. Now, what if I also want to navigate inside of the tab bar? Let's do this. Let's do this for example, for the home page. Um, now, instead of just using the home TSX, I'm going to create a new folder call this one home. And now if I move the home file in it, it basically uh, it works the same. I can just replace this and call this index TSX. And if I hit refresh, uh, it complains because there's no home yet in the layout here. Okay, that makes sense. So instead of saying this is the home page, um, I think actually, um, Actually, I think you should work just fine. Let's see. Uh, we got home slash index. This is actually nice and part of it. Um, well, what are you mad about? Um, list and home index. In fact, um, the web seems to be happy. The web doesn't have to, uh, seems to have a problem with this. Uh, I'm not sure why you're having a problem with this. Uh, no home index. Uh, no road name, home exists in nested. Do I have to tell this one to actually go into home? No, usually we don't have to. Uh, we shouldn't have to. Um, but let's see. If I think, uh, if I do it like this, I have to place another layout.tsx in here and otherwise it will be mad. So let's do another layout here. And if we wanna push another page inside of the home, we need to come up once again with a new stack layout. So. Let's place another stack layout in our uh, file. Um, and the first screen will be our index file. And there we go. And I can also set my header title. But once again, we see uh, we got two headers. So how do we disable this? Uh, well, we probably need to touch the layout here of the tabs screen. So going into options, header shown, um, false. That should remove that header. Yes, there we go. So we got list and we got the home screen. If you want to, you can also give them better uh, different tab bar labels or different things. Also, if there's something in the folders that's showing up suddenly in the tab bar, you can uh, define that a specific screen should have an href of null. 
uh, in the options and then it won't be displayed in the tab bar. That can also be sometimes helpful. Now, back to creating the actual home screen um, or navigating to a details page. We go to our index now. So what was previously just the home TSX is now the index file of this folder. And we add a simple link to home settings. So how do we get there? Well, in this case, it's simple. We just create a new settings.tsx, making this a rect functional export. And then we push it. And that page is not found. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I think because we still need to reload the app at least once. Yes, so there we go. And now you see, we still have the tab bar at the bottom and we can easily have our own stack in here. So those are the two different cases. You can either push a page above the tab bar or you can push inside of a tab and keep the information. Both ways are possible. And I hope this quick example with a setup here helps you to define your tab bar with uh, the new Expo router. So if you enjoyed the video, please also hit subscribe and like for this video so more people can see it. And of course, check out galaxies.dev where I try to help you with all the topics around web development, cross-platform development, native apps, many courses, check them out, galaxies.dev, and I will hopefully catch you in the next video. So until then, happy coding, Simon.